wrong with what you are mm -hmm. doing? That's the point I'm making. For example, in Genesis 19, the men did not want to have sex with, with the two daughter. men in the house. They wanted to meet them, say, hi, how are you doing? No, not my gospel. You need to read the gay and lesbian Bible. There's nothing like that. Mm -hmm. No, I, that's why I and the part it. about lie. The part about ah, <laughs> uh, not offering his daughters to them. That's not true. Well, I will stick with my old evil, if for the lack of a better way of saying it. The sixteen eleven still works good for me, and uh, I'm gonna stick with that version. What, what is what happened in sixteen eleven? What is the sixteen eleven? King James. What's the King James version? Well, let me tell you something. Anything what you're talking about, that society, is not nothing that put out there. Because the young lady that I know, she was going to the Church of God. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. How, which year was that? I don't remember the year, but this, I think, you don't know the part. Oh, it's been long. Which year was that? How long ago? I came here 63, about 60, 61. About 61 years ago, no. you no, encountered that? about 1961. I it's see that, long. yes. 1961, I saw that. Yes, in the church. In when, the church. when, how about how long ago did Lot have this encounter <laughs> with the people? I don't know. They were done. Done. Yeah. So that's what she talks about, is of no importance. Because this has been around long before that. Yes, yes. <laughs> but that's what I told you. That is the first time I saw it for myself. I know that. That is not right. And even when I talk to her, she let me know. I don't know because there are so many brothers in there, but I just can't go near them. So, would you say that she's sick? She's sick with a lot of prayer for her. She said she can't do that. Why she can't do that? Why did she say she can't do it? It's a choice. It's a choice. She's not sick. She made a choice to be yes, that way. Yeah, she made a choice. That's a choice. My God. Um, I don't know the 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 whole the whole idea. Um, we we have a lot of young kids, for example, and who have been left to grow to have their TV and Xbox and whatnot to grow them and the material which is created for those settings. That's where they get their values from. And the education system allows itself to help them to understand that there's nothing wrong with um, a man and man family, a woman and woman family, or um, all, all of them are families and they have the same meaning and value. So these things are taught to the children <coughs> at a young point in time where they are not able to discriminate and make the, the kind of choice and understanding that this is not really what it looks like. So at the end of it, um, they are the confused ones who come out of the setting not knowing what is right, what is wrong. And they are the ones who come up and practice and accept and live the way they have been taught. Because people tend to live what they have been taught. As Solomon in his wisdom said, that if you train up a child in the way he should go, when he is old he will not depart from it. And it is true. In, in this end, this is the training that the child received. This is the, the thing that caught so him when his mind was... If a child received a training to live um, according to God's moral, yes. and the child grows up and chooses to go against God's moral, mm -hmm. what went wrong? 
Um, most of the time, that's where it straight um, correct itself because it says when the child is old. The child was brought up in the nurture and understanding of the Lord, and when they got old, he made they choices. chose to go against it. What went wrong? He made a choice. That that's it. That's it. Let me share something else with you. Does the Bible say it is wrong to be lesbian, gay, bi, or transgender? And I'm quoting from the gay and lesbian Bible. No, the Bible does not say it's wrong. Learn the startling truths of what the Bible really does say about homosexuality. Religious traditions have caused persecution for centuries. What do many Christians prefer, the cool old facts or tradition? I bet you were taught that there were three wise men and they visited the newborn Jesus. The Bible actually does not say there were three and does not say they visited Jesus as a newborn. But you would never know that with all these nativity scenes around at Christmas. Do you want to know what the Bible really says about being gay? Do you want to know why Sodom really was destroyed? Was it for homosexuality or was it for something else entirely? You can be gay and a Christian, no guilt involved. You can be sure the scripture and say nothing about homosexuality at all. You can live the life you are meant to lead. Get a copy of the gay and lesbian Bible. Now, my, my, my thing right here is, if uh, what's her name? If on nylon can produce to me the holy men that speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost in penning that Bible, I will gladly embrace it and teach from it. Everybody has a right to choose. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 1, 18. Mm -hmm. If you be willing and obedient. Yes. But if you rebel and refuse. Mm -hmm. Choice. Yes. Almighty before. God does not dictate. Mm -hmm. He gives you choices. Yes, he does. So if one chooses to go against his will that's your choice if you choose to be obedient to his will that's your choice my job is to preach the word in season and out of season and not the mix up diluted water down word <laughs> The undiluted word. The word that cuts. Going in and cuts coming out. The word that makes it become an enemy. Speak the truth. And speak, it speak it ever. Cast, Cast it whatever it will. He who hides. Will continue to do it. Still, until. So the the, 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 the the nineteen countries have legalized marriages between a man and a man and a woman and a woman. And a man and a woman. I will not be sad, nor will I join anyone in going opposition. I am rejoicing. You wanna know something? <laughs> my fishing license expired and I'm gonna go renew it and go fishing rejoicing <laughs> because I may not be able to fish fish and earth again because in the kingdom there will be no need to fish <laughs> no, let me stop well <clears throat> mine, uh, I don't think mine expired it was a month ago 
but I have two months to get the free one, so uh, I'm gonna hang around for that one. <laughs> Oh boy, now now is the time when I when I when I would need Mr. Hamilton <laughs> to give us a spin that doesn't exist. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Well, to God be the glory. Yes, sir. We have. Uh, any final words? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen. One and all, everywhere. This is serious time. The God of creation, the God who created the heaven and earth and all life, is a loving God, but is also a just God. He has given us the opportunity to live, but He has set out a special order, and that order requires us to live thereby. So, take some time prayerfully and prayer and fasting and ask Him to bring you into the light of truth so that you can make the right choice so you will have life and have it more abundantly and eternally god bless you i just want to tell you the listening audience all those who is listening to my voice one thing i have to tell you prepare to meet thy god because jesus christ is coming very soon. Make just take one step from sin to grace. God bless you. This is a live broadcast from the studios of WBNB FM Radio 95.5 and 88.7, the North Port Community Radio of Southwest Florida. That's it for today. See you next week, same time, same place. Stay tuned, for there's much more to come. Amen. Well, ev everybody has gone silent <laughs> because we had a major fallout and dispute last week. And I noticed in church yesterday, testimonies was asked for, and somebody refused that they rather to sing a song instead. The fact of the matter, ladies and gentlemen, is that a testimony is giving evidence of something supernatural that has taken place in your life. Okay? Something supernatural that has taken place in your life. There are other things that have taken place that are supernatural. You can give a praise unto God. You go to some churches and people get up and they say, Praise the Lord, church. I just want to give God thanks today for spirit life and for bringing me here safely. I mean, well, virgin, you pray my strength in Jesus' name. What is the testimony in that? God promised that to every man. Brethren, the doctor said I had three weeks to live. And my condition was of such that they posted DNR notice on my door. They stopped giving me what they are supposed to give me because it's a waste of time. The condition that I had, and notice what I'm saying, brethren, had. I will die within three weeks. But that was 35 years ago. And I'm still here. Because God intervened. That's a testimony. Yes. 